Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video. These note-taking productivity PKM applications, they seem to be popping up everywhere. And this one just caught my attention because it was one of the few applications on Blue Sky. And I decided to give it a try. And uh, this is my first impressions video. I will do a more in-depth review later on, but Let's start off with the first impression to see how this application feels. So we have things like markdown, PDF images, audio, video, web pages, uh, web text clips, screenshots, Twitter, Twitter profile. This should be changed to X, uh, YouTube video, YouTube clip, Kindle book and Kindle highlights. So. It seems like it wants you to capture things from multiple different sources. So anywhere from an image to a PDF to web pages markdown. Uh, I guess this is this is a note. Let's actually try and uh, hit the node button. My guess is that that creates one of these things that are inside of here. So if we hit node, we have the ability to either capture something in Markdown, audio, camera, upload. Uh, so I can upload a file is my guess. I can use the camera to take an image. I can have audio inside of here, which I will test a little later, or we can just do Markdown. So just do a uh, text like this. Let's do backslash to see whether or not it has uh, some formatting. It does quote, uh, code block call out mat is planned uh, headings we have headings here lists you have media type sketch is actually planned this is a little exciting so it seems like you can both have an image just uploaded as a node or a note uh, but you can also have them live inside of a markdown document that is at least what it seems like Sketching abilities is really cool. That is something I would like to see and something uh, not many like PKM applications actually have. You have uh, different layouts here from table to media stack grid. A lot of things are planned and this application is at a really early stage. Even a graph is uh, planned here. So graph and calendar as well. Uh, so there are a few things planned here, and this seems to be in a really early stage. Uh, so this is also coming soon. Combinations collections is something we actually have. So let's try and just create one collection. My guess is that these are uh, these are uh, smart folders. So Curie is coming. Type. Use type collection to t store structured data, define the properties. So this creates a database while uh, this is just uh, more like a folder. Uh, so this turns into a database. Let's just write text and save this. So my guess is that this is a database. I can add existing or I can create new. Let's actually go ahead and create new. It goes back to the test one. I, I would guess that if you click here and you click create new like this, it should allow you to create a new one. And that is actually what it does now. So let's just write test and test two. Uh, test two, let's make this into a heading. So like this, it works with markdown. It is saved. So we now have test, but we don't have test two. This feels a little weird. I can also add properties, but what feels a little weird is that I have to add the properties from here. I can go and I can add, let's see what kind of properties they have. Let's try. A lot of them are actually coming, even a formula property as well. A lot of formulas are, a lot of properties are actually coming. Link list, attachments, time tracking, these are really, really cool. But you also have things like email, checkbox, things you would expect single select. Like the only one you would expect that isn't there is multi select and probably formula one. Uh, so a lot of things are planned here. Let's go ahead and let's actually add a single select. Let's do a uh, Facebook like this. 
let's see here. So this is supposed to be social media. And this will then be my uh, different labels here or different options. So let's do Facebook and let's just for the sake of this video do YouTube as well. Uh, always visible. Let's click that. Capture. What does this mean? Selecting this will show the property during the capture. Yeah, let's turn that on as well. Um, so where does the properties actually appear? They appear in here and uh, this is also uh feels also a little weird like uh, i would expect the properties to also show up here can i filter this i can turn this into a grid or can actually change the style of this uh, but there are no filters or maybe there are uh, let's try properties shown social media so i can turn on the properties here but this is still in uh, beta so uh it will uh, be available at some point uh, when you have the ability to both add different uh, properties but more views and filtering and sorting options will be available soon so what it feels like is that this application still has uh, some work to do before it is at uh, a level where, where it is actually a viable fully functioning product I think it seems like they have a lot of great ideas but uh, they need to implement a lot of those ideas uh, they also seem to be like really focused on the web clipping so let's actually go ahead and just uh, install uh, this web clipper right here uh, and add it I have a bunch of different web clippers so now we have added the web clipper and then you need to sign in so I got signed in quite quickly let's go ahead and just try this web clipper because it seems like it is uh, really uh, reliant on the web clipper so let's add that one and let's just open up medium uh, like this and just check out the first article we find so this one right here uh, and let's just clip something uh, let's try this and right click and let's find the right one it doesn't show up here what happens if I mark this and I click the button here this also uh, the web clipper also feels like something I'm not used to so I can actually click so it opens up a sidebar when i click here and i can go ahead and i can actually highlight things like this so that actually works and let's and i can link it to another node or a collection that is actually quite cool so i can uh, when i am capturing something i can actually link it to uh, something i've already captured so let's do like this and let's link it to the one called test uh, and it is linked is it finished now or do i have to add notes no notes i think it's finished now i think we're done if i now go back into here it should show up where should it show up here it is so it captures the whole thing i might have missed clicked but it also captured this and it is back linked to the test one so the idea behind like being able to clip a lot of things is uh, and having a great web clipper is really cool and i think the app in general feels really exciting this is something i can get really excited about there is also a few like ai things you also have a graph view here but there are a few ai things so if i open this up and i press ai ai settings right here uh, they will download ai models to your device so that you can use ai for free and offline uh, so you will store the uh, ai models uh, on your device and run them on your device uh, which is uh, something that is important to a lot of people at least that's what i think this does uh, i will do a more in-depth video on this once i've tried it out but like 
my initial thoughts is that this is really really exciting there are of course a few bugs like when i press this capture button it opens that is because i have captured this that isn't a bug that is just uh, me not understanding the application it feels a little weird uh, so uh, that is something i uh, will say that the application feels a little weird and it feels maybe different from all of the other uh, applications I've tested out. The closest one, I don't actually know if I've tested uh, anything uh, close to this. I tested one like AI application that was really close to this. It was named My Reach. That is the closest one. But in general, I feel like this is a really cool idea and I will be uh, paying attention and taking a look at it in a few months. Uh, and I will do a more in-depth video in a few weeks, but I th still think that it needs some time to develop. So I will check back with a more uh, in-depth uh, review in a few months. Uh, so two reviews coming up on this application, one in a couple of weeks and one probably next year sometime. That was it for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.